Both buoyancy and wave loading can be applied to any model and auto pipe from the loads ribbon tab. The water surface elevation and some additional information are needed for the buoyancy load to be applied. When the buoyancy load is applied, it will automatically be included in the gravity load case, so you will not see a separate load case for the buoyancy load. Once a buoyancy load is applied from the show ribbon tab under the labels grouping, you can review the water surface and sea level by using this option. This will show what points in your model the buoyancy load is being applied to. Again, from the loads ribbon tab, we can also apply a wave load. There are many inputs in defining the wave load. But once that is defined, again, from the Show Ribbon tab, under the Color Plots, there is an option to review hydrodynamic data. With this, it changes the actual components to a certain color when hydrodynamic data is being applied to those components. If you wish to override global wave data at any point in the model, on the Insert Ribbon menu, under the extra data grouping, there is the option to input hydrodynamic data at any individual point in your piping model. There is more information about wave loading theory in the Autopipe Help, and there is a static analysis training class for the buoyancy load, as well as an offshore analysis Autopipe advanced training class with more discussion on buoyancy and wave loading as well.